Praise be to God, glory be to God, honor be to God, adoration be to God, and all glory goes to Him. Amen and amen. Welcome officially to the ninth month of the year 2018. We know that God is the author of days, months, weeks, and years. And so all we have to know is where to log on to. For some log online, some log on Facebook, but we will log on to the heavens help. For that is where our help comes from. Scripture says that some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will lay our trust in the name of the Lord. And today, I came to share the word of God with you, but I'm excited about what God is going to do. And uh, like I said uh, uh, days ago, that all you need to know is that God will take care of you this month. And, and you don't need any other thing else to know that he will take care of you. You got to say amen to that. Amen. Let me run to the assignment on today. I want you to be so uh, rest assured. In the, in, the, in, the, in the lyrics in Psalm number 89, uh, the division 8. And the latter part B, Psalm 89, 8B. And there is one line there that that I believe God wants me to kind of expound for you to hear it. It says that you're, you are entirely faithful. And the author is writing about God. He talks about there's no other God beside him and his greatness. But he comes to this line and it just it's just it just hit me so hard. He said, You are entirely faithful. Uh, and so I came to um just read and elaborate a little bit on the resume of God. And when you see the statement entirely faithful, what it translates to your daily life. Now listen up. So when the Bible says God is entirely faithful, uh, it, it, it talks about many levels of truth. The first level of truth is that God is faithful completely. Uh, other part says that there's no shadow of timing with him. God is faithful so that his yes is an HD yes and his no is an HD no. In other words, there is no compromise in God. God cannot lie, fail or God cannot disappoint and that is not really the level of faithfulness we're talking about we're talking about the entirety of his faithfulness and so God is faithful to the core God is faithful when you God is faithful to the cell God is faithful in his in in everything that concerns me is faithful and I, I, I want to go deeper a little bit because the Holy Spirit is kind of opening my heart to another level before I come to the main message. So God is faithful um, so much that anybody that comes to him, he will help him. Uh, I said God is, and th- this is the God I'm going to put you under this month. So you got to you got to chill and know that it's going to be good. Uh, but before I put you under him, I want you to know where I'm placing you. God is faithful so much that those who come to him for refuge, they can be sure that he will take care of them. Now, 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 let me talk about the faithfulness of, the faithfulness of God in, in, in a practical example. Now, hear this out. Um, imagine that you are entering a, a big house or you are entering a big supermarket. You are entering a big shop and there's a long line. And the thing they are going to buy, if you are the last person on the line, you are the number last. Let's say they have about three to four hundred people, and you are number four hundred. Your heart beats fast because not only the question is now whether you want to wait. You want to wait because you want what they they have. But the thing is, will I have one by the time it's my turn? When we talk about the entirety of the faithfulness of God, it, it, it supposes that now not only is God going to give everyone on the line, if the house is the house of God, that means that God will never run out of that which you are looking for. God will never run out of his mercy. His mercies are new every morning. His mercies are new every month. His mercies are new every day. And great is his faithfulness. Entirety. Is his faithfulness, and so here it is out now. So therefore, God has enough for you, 
And then the main message before I pray is the fact that his entirety, the faithfulness, his entire faithfulness now presupposes that when you come to him, you don't have to be afraid of your background. When you come to him, you don't have to be afraid of your situation, of your failures. The faithfulness of God is so entirety in itself that it can swallow your unfaithfulness. Say, I'm saying again, the faithfulness of God can swallow your unfaithfulness. The Bible says, because God is faithful, the sons of Israel, they are not consumed. I want you to relax and know that so long as you have come to abide under God, He will take care of you. He will do you good. He will sustain you. And He will support you. He is too faithful to fail you. He is too faithful to disappoint you. And I'm talking about you because it doesn't matter how many people God is taking care of. His faithfulness is so entire that he has enough for you. So I place you gently in the hands of he who is entirely faithful. I place you in the hand of him who is faithful. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with you. Rest assured. He is too faithful to fail. Father, we honor your name today. We count it as a blessing to know you. And because we know you, we shall be saved. In Jesus' name, amen.